Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through nesting guys. So basically, whenever you hear the word nesting, you will be saying that, okay, I know nesting, how we will be doing in SQL, right? Yes. So most of us think that like that. But basically, there is one more method here to do test, to do nesting guys. Okay, so first let us go through the nesting method, which we already know. And then we'll be going through the new method, which I'll be discussing you in the later on of this lecture. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So nesting we can do in this way, right? Okay. So select star from and again you can start a select statement here. So basically select inside one more select inside one more select. So these type of operations are nothing but nesting guys. Okay. Okay. So if you take a small example, it will be in this way. So another approach to create nesting statements is to use subqueries. So basically these things are nothing but subqueries guys. So you might be having a doubt or in some kind of interviews they might be asking. So if there are subqueries, which query will be executed first? So the answer for it is nothing but the internal query. The internal query will be the one which will be executing guys. So that is the main thing. Okay. Right. Okay. So select title comma array of select again you are selecting here again you are selecting something else so here only by observing only you can say it is nothing but a subquery so inside this query this query is there so select author from authors as a where a dot title equal to b dot title order by position i think a and b are two different tables i think okay so here b is nothing but books and where is a guys okay so i think a is about authors i think it is not written here order by as authors okay okay so it's not written here so assume that a is nothing but authors okay so here it is written from authors as a okay so authors table as a and books for as a b okay so in both the tables you will be having the title right so if you want to just give me a second guys i'll be taking the example which was given so that you'll be having a clear idea just to give me a second Okay, yes, here it is. So basically just by observing you can say right. So here we are having a title here. We are also having a title and here also we are having a title. So basically to collect information from these two tables when there is a relation between them. So so if I ask you if I say you the publication name is Oxford and I am asking you about the networks book title the Oxford who is the author. So just by observing these two in this, this is the primary key or foreign key you can say, right? So this is maintaining relation with this table. So from this table, you'll be going to this table and in this table, you'll be checking, right? So indirectly, you'll be collecting details from this table and you will be checking it with this table and you'll be getting the output. So that is the operation occurring here, guys. So here you are getting the title of the book name based on the things okay so here we also used a multi set and all those things we used order by so basically order by is used to set them in ascending order or descending order based on your requirement okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right about the original nesting queries which we think or which we use commonly okay so but in advanced databases we are also having a function guys the function name is the collect okay so nesting is the Nesting is the opposite of unnesting, create, creating a collection of valued attributes. Nesting can be done in a manner similar to aggregation, but using the function collect in place of aggregation. Okay. So here you will be using a function called collect. Okay. One more thing is I'm not hundred percent clear with the working of this connect. So I'll be just giving you some introduction, which I understood. Okay. That might be wrong, but I'm not sure about it. Okay. Okay. So assume that you are again collecting the data from the table. Okay. So from a flat books a table. Okay. So just to give me a second, I'll be taking the paper once again. Okay. Is the flat books. Okay. Flat books is not there in our example. Okay. So assume that from a single table, all the data has been collected. Okay. I think the flat books might be the first table which we discussed, right? Might be no, not this. Book, this. Okay. I think it's not there in our example. Okay. Okay. So from that flat books, we are taking title author publisher inside publisher we are having publisher name and publisher branch as publisher so we are collecting this and storing it in publisher okay and you are using a collect keyword okay i think this is the second table only guys which we used okay so this is the table guys okay okay so here we are getting title author 
okay we are getting author right so author okay then we are getting the publisher pair that is nothing but name and branch as publisher and then you are collecting the keywords so you are making them as a pairs and you are collecting them guys okay so you collected the parsing and analyze analysis assume in that way okay so from flat and group by title comma author comma publisher so based on their alphabetical order or based on their pairs you will be making them in some particular order so that is nothing but group by guys okay so sorry it's group by right so you are grouping them with respect to the title author and publications okay okay so it's not order by in order by we'll be arranging them in group by you will be grouping them based on some particular thing so if the title is same you'll be grouping them if the author is same you'll be grouping them if the publisher is same if you're grouping them here we are using all three at common means everything should be same to group them into one set okay okay so in that way that will work guys so similarly to nest on both author and keyword you can use in this way okay so this is just a small introduction about nesting guys so i hope everyone got some basic idea about nesting so in the next lecture sorry for that in the next lecture we'll be going through object identification so we discussed class right so indirectly class is the concept that we discussed we discussed about structural type right so that is indirectly you can say it as a class guys so in the next lecture we'll be trying to create an object for this guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching